Um, but I want to redo these problems again, the same ones, A, D, and E, but doing the standard algorithm, which I call the old school or the classic way. Uh, essentially, ladies and gentlemen, we have a half and a third. Um, the fastest way to do this is to think, okay, I know that I need to get these denominators the same. So I'm going to multiply this top up here by 3 and this bottom here by 3 and then do the opposite over here. And by opposite I mean multiply this one by 2 and this by 2. Okay, so that should give us 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 3 is 6, so 3 sixths is an equivalent fraction to 1 half plus 1 times 2 is 2, 3 times 2 is 6, giving us 5 sixth is our answer. Okay, a lot faster. That's how I would usually solve it. Okay, so letter D, kind of the same thing. Um, we got to figure out where they meet. And so in this case, I'm just going to say times 7 times 7. So on this side, I'm going to multiply both things by this denominator. So this one's times 3 times 3. So again, the 7 came from over here, this denominator. The 3 is over here, came from this 3 over here. Okay, let's see here. 1 times 7 is 7. 3 times 7 is 21. 1 times 3 is 3. 7 times 3 is 21. Okay, the denominator is the same. 7 plus 3 is 10 over 21. And again, that does not reduce. That's your answer. Okay, this is way faster. And this final one, kind of the same idea here. I'm going to multiply this whole side by this denominator. And I'm going to multiply this whole side by this denominator. So this is times 5, times 5. Okay, and those are kind of small. And this side would be times 4, and times 4. Alright, 5 times 3 is 15. 4 times 5 is 20. 1 times 4 is 4. 5 times 4 is 20. 5 plus, sorry, 15 plus 4 is 19, and that's all over 20. Oh, it's a terrible box. Oh, you can't even see it, I'm sorry. This always happens at school, too. Mr. Gilbertson, you need to zoom out. <laughs> anyway, uh, same problems, faster way to solve it. Um, this is really what you need to learn.